Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Dragonfire Gamer UK, and we are back in Station Ears. In our last session, we set up the um, this little fuel farm over here. We set up a combustion centrifuge, and I set up initially one deep miner. I've subsequently set up another one over there. In this session, I want to set up a um, vending machine so that we can dump the ores that are being mined in here into the vending machine rather than losing them um, and also set up a find it, normal centrifuge which we can use then along with a if I've got to print it somewhere I think let me just find it the recycler here so with the recycler um, we can take all these used canisters all these used cans and anything else we don't want and recover the uh, resources from them or some of the resources from them by using the, re the centrifuge and the recycler but the first thing I want to do is set up the um, bending machine now I'm just trying to think how I want to set everything up here I may have to expand it this way a bit but I think it probably makes sense to have the bending machine here on this side now as you can see as an input and an output I want the input to line up with that for now I need new space for power and some other bits um, that should do it so I put that there so what do we need so the vending machine is printed on just so you know where to get these from your electronics printer yeah vending machine Refrigerated is, um, I can't remember what we need refrigerated for now, we just need another one anyway. Uh, there is a reason for the refrigerated one, I can't remember if it's off the top of my head. Um, and then also the recycler, is that here? No, that must be the auto lathe. The recycler's there, and the centrifuge, just normal centrifuge is there. So, I'll take that in my backpack as well, just so I've got that. So what do we need now to finish construction of this? Two plastic sheets are required. I don't believe any plastic on me. Have I got any plastic anywhere? That is the question. I don't think I have. Is there any silicon in here? Yep, yeah, okay, so let's print some plastic sheets. Let's print a handful of these. Make it six because of half a gram each. Now what's required? Screwdriver. And that's it, that's the old centrifuge made. Um, I'm going to need a few shoots, and they are in the pipe bender. Oh, we need some iron, iron in here. Have we got iron, any iron stored anyway? Let's just look see if we have any iron stored. How much is there? 12, that's not really enough. Okay, um any in there? No, any in there? No, so let's just rob it from here for now. Let's make sure there's no storm coming. Actually while I'm here just dump some bits. Um, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. What's that? That's the arc furnace here, yeah, I don't need that. Um, don't need pipes on me. Don't need you. Don't need you. And we also don't need you either. So, let's put the iron that away. Take the iron, put it in there, set you going. back in here, Oop, close the handle that'll 
do. I've got one already somewhere. It's, it's 10. I'm not going to need 10 at this point. Um, I only need... Actually, let's replace that with... a window. There we go. Um, this one I want to be a junction. So, you can get junctions here. You see there's two inputs, one at the bottom, one at the top. I want a it going that way and like that. So there's a input at the top and an input from the right. And it's just an all straight from here. Into there. There's nothing attached to the top at the minute. I will be attaching something later. Okay, so that's that set up. I wonder if that's the best uh, No, I need cabling. Not going to get far without any power. Uh, okay, up there. Right, so to shut this down, the easiest way is just to turn it off. Then it will slow down. As you can see, it's slowing down, it will stop. And then it will eject everything. Um, turn this on so we can see what's going on. Actually, I did put some steel frames up here. Where to put the steel frames? Steel frames, there we go. Just so I can walk on this bit. So that's now stopped. It's still got everything in it. So turn it on. Oh, open that. Turn these off. I should have turned these off. That's going to get all cranky on me. Right, there we go. We're now dumping stuff. Yeah, yeah. Creek grown. Sounds terrible, that. <laughs> right, we'll just let that finish moaning. And now you can see everything that was in there has been dumped into here. Now the problem with the, this vending machine is, if a 5 comes in, it stays as a 5. So if you had five, say five iron ore and ten iron ore, it wouldn't combine them into fifteen iron ore, which stays a five and a ten. Um, and you can see as I'm clicking on the arrows here, uh, that's forty-five silicon, that's twenty lead, that's eight nickel, that's eleven silver. So yeah, at the minute, actually, what's that? Is that two coal there? We're well, fifty coal maximum stack, yeah. Um, Copper is maximum, there's another one there. Uranium, don't really need. Um, gold, and iron ore, there'll be a few iron ore in here, there we go. So that's nearly 200 iron, iron ore we've got out there. Are you finished complaining now? You can behave yourself? Good. So that's just a way of quickly storing things. I think there's, I can't remember how much slot there is in here. Bear with me. Vending machine. Um, 100 stacks, so can I hold up to 100 stacks? Um, obviously we just dumped in there about 10 items, so that's probably more than I'm near a 20 by the time you split them down to 5s. So it's not going to store a huge amount, but it's, it's okay for now. Let's set that winding back up again. Um, the next thing I want to set up is the centrifuge. So let's bring that down. Where do I want that? Um, oh, what a shame, my cabling's in the way. Could do it around this side might be better. I 
and now we're feeding directly into that junction. Like so. Is that even enough space to get this going? Yeah, it's a bit janky. It'll sort itself out in a second. What else do I need for here? Wrench and two steel sheets. I've just used three steel sheets. Uh, two of the three steel sheets I had. Um, turn this on. Steel sheets. Uh, I'm going to print again about five or six of these. Or six of them. Because what I also want to do is get the recycler set up. Uh, cable. Going uh, steel frames. It's on a few of these. I don't think I'm going to want one, two. I need four of these at the moment. Come on, three, one more. And cladding, let me just make some cladding. And there's a reason for this. That should be enough cabling, stop him. Stick us back in here. Right, um, cladding, yeah, one cladding. Let's just get one cladding. So one of the things I want to do also is um, I've said about using an Amy bot, um, and I'm probably going to set the Amy bot up over here. Um, obviously, there's a gap here between there and up here, and a way you can get from da down there to up here. Uh, there's two. Well, there's only one way you can do it. So people think that you can use a frame to do it. Obviously, a frame. You can roll the wheel and get different shapes. So there's like a nice ramp. There's a ramped corner piece. There's an inverse of that one. Um, and then back to the main square. Well, this ramp, you can't place it. But what you can't do... Is weld it. It's trying to weld the one behind. See, it's not actually trying to weld this one. Uh, weld this one. And you can't walk up it. You just walk into it. This is purely a cosmetic piece. Um, whether the developers are going to finish making this and making it weldable and everything has yet to be seen. It was put in purely as a cosmetic piece. So what you can do, let's just get rid of that. Also you need to be able to get from down there to up there. And you can see here I've actually got this one here and it seems to have a frame underneath it. Actually I need that two cladding don't I? Um, and that is this cladding. And then the cladding is basically, uh, it's not airtight, it's not watertight. Um, but you can clad buildings with it, they give them a better look, like that. But what you can also do with it is roll the wheel, you get these angle parts. Now it's a 45 degree there. Uh, roll again, I think that one's a 60 degree. You can see it's too long anyway. We need two cladding to build this one. And there you go. And now we can actually walk up that. But like I said, it's not airtight. It's not just cosmetic. It does function. And you can paint it. So you can do things with that. Um, so the Amy bot could now come up here. Filter low. Into here. When I set that up. That's what I want to show you that for. Um, so right, cladding, cladding, cladding. Um, yeah, let's just put these down. Nope. Oh, square one. One. Two, three, four. Not cladding. Um, centrifuge. That's what I mean. <laughs> right. One, two, three, four. You see how your base ends up huge. And then I need wrench. 
Uh, welding torch, two steel sheets. Oh, bugger. Tell you what, let's just um, rob that one for now. Um, and that's it. That's your centrifuge centre. Obviously I want to feed this into there. So I need some... Oh, is he going now? Let's kick him up a couple. Um, I need my chutes. Where we'll put my chutes. There we go. They can come down. Oh. Do I want to change out the face this way? Yeah, I will. So bring something in. Yeah, I'm just going to change it slightly. So let's take that out. Uh, make it a junction again. But with the input from the side, I'll just connect this straight across for now. Um, straight shoot. There we go. That to there. That to there. Again, this needs power. I did get some cables, yes. I don't know if you remember, in um, one of the earlier sessions, I put a mixture into the, or some items into the furnace, uh, that weren't right, they didn't make an alloy, they weren't a valid uh, recipe, so what you get out is this reagent mix. I'll just kick this up again. Um, the reagent mix can go straight in here, and turn it on, and that will start winding up, and that will um, sort the reagent mix and just constituent parts. I don't know if this one does it or not, if I'm honest, with the reagent mix. I'm assuming you can. How are we doing? The processing already. And you're winding up. Okay. So that's now um, two centrifuges we've got going. One for dirty ore coming in and one for just everything else and another thing I want to put onto this is where we we'll put it? Recycler? Recycler. I don't think you need anything for the recycler. I think it just builds straight yet. Yeah. So you can go there. And as you can see it's got, it's a bit like a paper shredder. Um, uh, you just need power to it. and shoots oh, not straight and a pop. so I'll just come out of there into there that's all my shoots used and now I can turn this on let's go grab some bits some old bits we don't need so put that away um, you're empty. You're empty. You're empty. You're empty. You're empty. And you're empty. Okay. And now I can feed these bits into here. They get chewed up, spat out, uh, into here. So this also winds up over time as you can see the speed's increasing. Oh, this one's 100 max actually. Um, processing 15 times reagent mix. 14, so that's, it's, that's slowly processing reagent into iron and copper. Um, that's done what I wanted to do, so I can turn that off for now. Obviously anything else we've got we can dump in there. But I just wanted to show you that you can recycle things um, through the recycler into centrifuge and then reclaim the some, not all, but some of the components from them. Um, 
and you can do that with most things. So I mean, like what we've got here, uh, wall kit. Which one's that? That's uh, not the one I want. Iron wall kit. Twelve iron wall kits. I'm not really going to use iron wall kits anymore. I prefer the steel ones. Turned on. Dump them in there. Then it'll chew them up and spit them out. There we go. They've just gone out. And we'll just let that finish in that one then, like say, once that's um, processed everything. It's the same as the other one, you've got to turn it off to get the uh, items out of it. So yeah, so that's the recycler, the vending machine, sorry, the recycler, the, the centrifuge and the vending machine. And to get something out of the vending machine, all you do is select it, select what you want. So, let's say iron ore. Let's have 50 iron ore, and you click vend, and it comes out the front. Um, it's a shame I didn't move that over one. Never mind. Now let's try something. Um, no, 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 it's fine. It's fine the way it is. So let's just put that iron there. Because this is all storage at the moment. Um, I'm using this to store things as they come in. I will use this for a bit. Um, it's got more space than that, obviously. Um, but ultimately all this will be replaced with the SDB silos. Now an SDB silo. I've been mentioning these a few times. So let's go and build one. SDB... It's not the hopper you want, the hopper is literally, as it sounds like a, um, let's show you, SDB, SBD, SDB, hopper, this is a hopper, open at the top, stuff comes out the bottom, simple as that. Um, the silo is obviously completely different, that's the... Um, come on that's a tall structure that has a shoot at the top a shoot at the bottom shoot input and output sorry and that requires gold, copper and steel so we've got the steel we just need the gold and the copper uh, gold, I've got copper in here actually I think I've got some copper here have I, haven't I plenty of gold I did a bit of mining. Um, no, no copper, so let's go and get some copper. There we go, and let's find that. Pick it up. How much is that? And so she will find that. And pick that up. This may not get hot enough. No, it doesn't like we're nowhere near. Oh no, it is fine, it's good fine. So it's good for copper, not iron, apologies. Gold, I think it's also good enough for gold. Yep, let's get those out of there. Oh, I just realised the sound was turned down quite a bit on my. Um headphones. Um, I will have to adjust this to, as I'm editing. So let's put the gold in there and build the silo. That will take a while so just let it run. In the meantime how's this doing? Don't afford the reagent left. Three. We're going full tilt. 
I believe this can store a thousand grams of um, ores. So it's quite a bit. So that's like 20 stacks of 50. Um, we've obviously got plenty of ores stacked up in here because they've been uh, mining away. This on. How am I doing power wise? Must be drawing quite a bit of current at the moment. Quite a bit of power. Oh, yeah, 2.7 kilowatts, and I only got 1.7 coming in. It's going down rapidly because the sun's going down. I also created another five, three, sorry, another three wind turbines, so I've now got five up there. Battery wise, oh, well, no, not too bad. We've got Three on green, eh, sorry, three on blue, and one on green, so that's that's pretty good. Power's okay. Food and water's okay. Getting a little bit dirty, but not too bad at the moment. You done that? Yeah, there we go. One silo. Now what I do need is... Um, A few of these now, so let's set a run for a minute. It would make sense to have the silos running down here. So I will start. Uh, how am I doing? One, two, three, four, five, six. I need about six frames. Actually, I need about 12 frames. To begin with, I'll need more than that ultimately, but 12 will do to start, get me started. I'll start with 6. And then uh, so let's finish building the other few. Gotta make sure I've got enough steel left. Not have one more. And then everything else can be steel sheets. Uh, two more of these. Uh, Didn't do that. up I've got left one I need another four for that oh no I've got I'm gonna have to make some more steel um, And that one I took away earlier. So that's for me five or oh no four. The reason I need so much steel is because the silo needs fifteen, I believe. So again, here you can see it's a it's, Air tank low. it's quite a big unit. Um, I want the. Um, if I rotate it, you can see there's an input on this side, and sorry, an output on this side. It's difficult to see, but there is an input on the back side. So I want it so it's outputting this way in the middle of the frame, like so. Let's put that there, and then this needs 15 steel sheets. So I haven't got 15 steel sheets at the moment, I need to go and um, make them. Uh, but I'm also going to go and get some air. Waste tank. Let's 
eat something while we're here. And drink something. Say side, do that. What's the power in this one? Okay, do being changed. Filter's okay. Yep, that's okay. Um, let's vent that back out. I'm going to have to make some steel, so I'm going to need the iron that's in here. If you stand in front of the chute when you bend it, it hits your feet. <laughs> What's that one? It's another 50. Take those. What's that one? is 49. Take that. I have... more iron there so that's 50 now and I have 50 coal let's quickly dump those, that gas um, I'm going to put fresh oh, I can't put fresh oxide in I've used it all Damn it! <laughs> I don't think the temperature in here is up to the job. Yeah, 575 degrees, that's nowhere near. That's degrees C, so what's that? 5, 6, 7, 8, 150-ish. By the time you add 273, to get the Kelvin, it needs to be 900 Kelvin for steel. So that's not enough. Um. And I don't have enough pipes. Um, 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 um. Where have I put that vent? Did I reconnect it? Oh, it's underneath there. Will that vent from there? Yes. Is it going to damage this? It shouldn't do. So let's set the gas vent for the moment, and in the meantime, I'm going to have to quickly go and get some um, oxide and volatiles. So I'll be back in a moment. And okay, I'm back. That was literally about five minutes of mining to get this. Uh, this heavy drill really does make it such a quick job. Um, so I've dumped all the gas out of there. That's gone. And it just before the sun comes up too quick. Oh, it's coming up. There's only three. That's eight. That should be enough. It's, it's hot here because I'm bending that gas as well, which isn't helping. What we have, there we go, temperature's high enough. So let's just start dumping this in here to get our steel. Make sure the hand's shut. Okay. There's our steel. Okay, so steel can go in here. And I can print some more of these. Um, how are you doing for pressure? Oh, it's nearly all gone. If you notice, I stand by this vent. My temperature down here has gone up. I 
Let's set a finish. Lots of 15. Actually, got 16, doesn't matter. And now I need plastic, and I think it's 10 plastic sheets. Hopefully, I've got enough silicon in here. Yeah, plenty of silicon. Let's let a load of them print. Well, that's doing. Let's see how we're doing on our centrifuge. So that's done. That must have taken everything coming in and processed it. So now we just need to open the handle. It will slow down and dump its goods into there. How are you doing? Yeah, it's doing fairly well. We'll leave that running for a little bit longer. Oh, I think that's enough plastic. Plastic sheets. And five cables. And a screwdriver. I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. That just want to um, keep building it this way. I'm going to need another layer here anyway because there's going to be silos on either side. How much cabling? 11 cabling. Right. I think it powers this side. It is, but you do need to connect both sides. So what I tend to do is bring the connection around the front anyway. So connect into this. Here for now. What I'm going to need to do is I need to set up a computer to operate the sorters and things. Um, stop that. But I'm not quite there yet for that. I've got the sorters. You know what? Let's. Sorter kit. What am I missing? Nothing. Let's print a sorter kit. So, yeah, sorry. So, this is a silo. Um, there is a network connection on this side. Um, you don't really need to connect it unless you're automatically outputting stuff from here. As you can see, you've got a panel here which tells you what's inside of this. Currently, there's nothing. Um, let's just bend something for the sake of bending it. Uh, it operates the same as a vending machine. You know, stuff goes in the back when it's turned on. Turned on, that helps. So yeah, it's opened again, so that's been accepted. And on here, it doesn't tell you what's inside it. It only tells you that there's one of stack of something again. That's a hun uh, 600 stacks. Um, but with a sorter and a stacker, you can maximise the space in here to hold 30,000 or something. You're done, you empty. That's done, empty. I can go off for now, I've got nothing else to process through it. And so can that. So have we printed our sorter? Yes, there's a sorter. It's gonna kind of stacker. And oh I'm not sure we're gonna iron in here, have I? 
No, I don't. Do, 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 do. See if we've got some iron. Oh, I'm past it. There it is. How much is that? 21. I'll have to do for now. Oh, that's some plastic sheets there. Um, set of shoots going. Set our stacker. Right, so the way we need to do this, we need everything coming up, so I'll do it with shoots, but basically we need so it doesn't look silly, I will put a where do I want to put it? No, it's going to be no good. Let's stick it here for now. Oh no, I need one. Oh, and I'm going to need one all the way along, aren't I? So I'm just thinking to myself. Okay, I'm going to put some flooring on here so it's something to build on. So it doesn't look stupid, but at the moment I just put this down. Um, see, it's still not the right height, is it? Stacker. So Stacker wants to go... Not there. That was well off, wasn't it? There, like so, with a shoot attached to it, and set to let's just set to fifty because that's a uh, maximum, and then the sorter. This is a sorter, it has, see there are two outputs, one input, I want the input to the right and the output, so I can just use a right angle, will that do it from there, I'm not sure if that's going to work from there, let me try, oh yeah, there we go, straight out of there into there. And this actually has one input, and um, you can tell it what to sort by connecting it to a PC, a computer. Um, obviously, the stacker also needs to be connected to power. I'm going to have cables on me. I'm just. I know these are floating in the air. There's nothing I can do, do about that at the moment. Um, I've got a grate here somewhere. I ah, have, haven't I? Floor grating. There we go. Come on, go at the bottom. That's it. Um, I put that like that, and it doesn't look quite look so bad. I can build some of the frames and walls and things around here. There will be some, I could put a wall down here, I suppose. Um, I 
like so. A couple of sheets of plastic. And then I can just get rid of the frame underneath. It's not needed. This is again just cosmetic. This I don't need to have these frames here. They'll help you float in the air. Um, it's a bit stupid, I know. It's a bit of a. I don't think they've dealt with going to change that. That's going to have things stacked and stuff. Um, mounted on the things, I don't know. At the moment, that's a wall. That's a wall. I could put another wall here, I suppose. Like so. Actually, it's probably better put a wall on that side. Um, get rid of this wall. Don't need the wall on this side now. No, I'll leave it there. It looks alright. So they've got a stack of stuck on there anyway. So the sorry, the sorter. No, it's still above it, isn't it? It's still floating above the ground. How odd. I did always think that sat on the frame. Hmm. To be honest, what I've done in the past is I've actually just hidden it inside a frame. Let's see, can we... Just for my sanity here, I'm afraid. Get rid of that. Yeah, you see, you can, you can just put it inside a the frame then. And then fill the frame in, weld the frame up, and you can't actually see it. So there's a way of doing that. Anyway, I'm digressing. We need more cabling. So yes, you've got to connect the... I'm getting, sorry, this is all a bit jumbled this at the moment, sorry, apologies. You need to connect the stacker and the sorter to power, but you also need to connect the sorter to a computer. Once we've got some more cabling, I'll set up the computer. That'll do for now. Cabling. Computer. Computer kit. Oh, iron. Iron, iron, we have just put iron. I used it all in you. Have we got any iron at all if you left? Oh yeah, I've got some PS12, I? There we go. Are you still hot enough? No, damn. How much iron's there? 11. We'll use that as well. Let's just use it all. That's 12. That's 6. I'll get it hot enough. Yeah, there we go. Close that now because you're empty. And what's that gas at? 1.3, so we can now vent that back to the tank. Right, iron, iron, iron. We don't need iron for you. Um, computer kit. Let it run for a moment. Let me take it out there. No, there we go. And again, to get stuff out here, you just pull the handle and it ejects it. How are we doing? 72, getting there. So as a computer, we need the sorter motherboard. And I'm missing silver. I do have silver. I'm sure I've got silver. Right, there's the silver. Right, get a sorter kit. Oh, get the motherboard. There we go, we've got the motherboard. So let's set up the computer. Now where do I want to set up the computer? 
Kobe or somewhere that's not too much in the way. Um, yeah, I think there. Um, screwdriver required. And there we go, there's a computer setup. Um, open the hatch. Put it in the board. And now I need power and the connection sorter. What I want to do is I want to keep all these sorters on their own network. At the moment I've got to connect it onto that network and outside the transformer. I'm going to change that. Um, let's click the print transformer. And I've got enough cabling. Right, so let's stick this transformer. These be on the same network. Like so. That power here is the main station network. Across to here, disconnect this. Connect that in. Give it some power. Turn you on. Turn you on. And now I will... I need my labeler. And you are... My... Iron sorter. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. What's going on? What's going on? Now uh, that's because I disconnect the power. That was my mistake. It couldn't be helped though. Set that come back down. You're connected up. Give me some juice. I've re-enabled you. Turn this on. Devices. Uh, why not picking up any devices? You're connected there. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm not bloody connected. <laughs> what else? Gonna need some more cabling. Yeah, gonna need a little bit more cabling. Oh, I am stupid sometimes. Really quiet without that set of few going. <laughs> right, cabling. I 
There we go. So that is now connected. The sort of stacker isn't connected. Let's sort that. You're on, you're on. Power to both of them. You're connected through to there. You're connected through to there. You're connected to there. So now... There we go, iron sorter, whitelist, what do I want it to, so the whitelist is what I want it to sort. So in this case it is, oh I could do it this way, a pain in the arse because it's a massive list. And you have to scroll down till you get the right one. And I believe all the ores and things are right at the bottom. Ingots. Yeah, here we go. So I want the iron ore. That one there. Okay, so my iron sorter is taking iron ore, passing iron ore. Now what happens is the white list is the one on the right, the black list is the one on the left I believe. So if I grab some of the iron that came out here, I better double check that. It's a while since I've done it. Take that. Take that. Should I take two of them? Right, set is going. Alright, let's check. If this works, the when I put the iron ore in there, yeah, that, that worked. Sorry, I to flew too far away then. Um, I heard the double click, which meant it went to the sorter, it went to the stack, and because it was 50, the stack ejected it, so it should be one in the air. A 50 iron, there we go. Close that. And now just make sure the stack is working, uh, the sort, yeah, the stack is working properly. Let's put 22 in there. Now it only had one click, so it went into the stacker, but hasn't gone through into the silo yet. So now if I stick this other one in, it'll stack the 50, eject that. That's now in here, there's a count of 1, and if I eject this, it's a stack of 50, so that is working. And basically, for all of the others, it's a rinse and repeat. Um, but what you do is, you... Fit through here? Yeah. You have everything coming in, that white lets the iron out that side, anything else will come out of this one. So you come down to your next silo, say copper, and this one you would say, this sort of would have copper on it. So if any iron came in, it would go in there, any copper would come down, come to this one, and go out. And anything that wasn't copper would go out, come out the right hand side of the next order, and so on and so forth. And you've sorted all of your ores into all of your silos. Now, obviously... Um, you can't store ices in these, I believe. Let me just check. That. Uh, oh, maybe you can hold. Maybe you can hold ice. Let's try it and see. 
Yeah, let's close that, there's nothing in there. Let's just dismantle that chute for the moment. I have one piece of ice on me, I believe, yeah. So I lied, it can hold ice. Well, I didn't think it could. Obviously the air temperature is 5 degrees, so if it was going to melt, it would have melted. It's melting in my hand though. Um, so yeah, that would have uh, melted quickly if it was in there. Okay, so that does hold ice. So you can store ice in these. Well, that's interesting. I never knew that. Put that back on because I want that to be iron. And uh, that's it guys. That's basically what we're going to do. We're going to set up... Uh, about 14 of these now, I think. So we'll have, um, like say, um, iron, copper, silicon, gold, lead, nickel, cobalt. Uh, what else have we got? Uranium. Now I'm testing my memory. Hydration critical. And whatever the others are. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> but I need to go and get a drink. And we'll be setting them up down here. drink, that's what I want, isn't it? Um, oh. Just a quick one there, let me just show you what did happened there. If you pull one of these screens, you can move it, you move it any way you want, but then you can't restack it, so to restack it, you click on that little uh, arrow in the corner, and that will restack it for you. And you click there to close them all. I just want to get my Helmet off so I can have a drink. Got a really sad face because he's in a bad mood because he needs to have a wash. So uh, let's quickly do that as well then. Light on. There we go, the bad mood and uh, um, the shower symbol's gone away. The dirty symbol's gone away. Let's put it close back on. Close and lock. Fed, watered, oxygen is fine. Vent that one. Battery is 85, that's fine. It's all doing good. So I think I'll leave it there for today guys, thanks for watching, um, I hope you learned something there, I know it was a bit disjointed, um, I really appreciate any comments, any likes, um, if you want to support me longer term I do have a Patreon page, the link is in the description, um, but yeah, so this is now how you, this is how you set up a sorter, sorter up there, with a stacker, and the SDB silo, and the so uh, computer with a sorter card in, be able to sort all of your ores and make them easier to manage along with the vending machine the centrifuge and the recycler so hopefully all of this was useful to you and next time guys it's dragonfly gamer wishing you good night